my name is Brian Ferber, and this is Jack, uh, the best friend I've ever known. Uh, the purpose of this presentation, though, is to inspire and ignite conversation about the evolution of human communication and how marketing is changing. Uh, the world's changing very fast. Uh, we have to adapt quickly. And when I got my first dog in 1997, uh, I just graduated college. I got my first email address, my first cell phone. Uh, everything was moving extremely fast. And we're kind of at a point now where it's happening again. Fast forward to 2010, I got laid off. I had to go on a self-exploration uh, process, looking personally for happiness and professionally for fulfillment. I think I found it in culture content. We will find out. Um, Hopefully you'll support me. Now, what I've done for the last 18 months is share my experiences in the form of content. The world's changed now from jumping out of planes to going to marketing seminars to helping friends launch tolerance movements at Pitchfork. It's been a whirlwind. Uh, my, world, my role in marketing has always been about events and experiential marketing and creating experiences. And I love it. I love bringing brands to people. And that's what I'm doing now with Jam. And I really do think they are kings of content from not just music, but to creating experiences. Now the other side of that now is you get these moments and you have to push them out through all these channels and different forms. So I've been pushing myself to find Google Plus and Pinterest and all these. And actually with Pinterest, while it doesn't uh, have trackability and all of this, it is a wonderful expression of visual content. And I started to look at myself and realized with my boards, I had my dog influence and I actually found a void in my life which was kind of enlightening for me. So take a step back. I didn't grow up with a dog. My mom doesn't like dogs. They jump on you, they smell, but clearly as a baby, I was drawn to dogs. And I think dogs, what my mom was missing is they can really help humans be more human and be better human beings to other human beings. So everything I learned, I learned from Jack. Sounds like a great book title, right? Maybe someday. Uh, Jack taught me a ton of things. I'm going to share six of the most important ones that I found helped me become a better person. First, control emotion. A lot of times I said, not on the rug, man. Uh, you know, but taking out my frustrations, much like the road ragers that want to run me over as a bicyclist, doesn't really get you anywhere. Uh, it doesn't achieve the end goal. Consistency. This is another challenging one. In the agency world, it's easy to blame clients and blame your boss. You really, Jack taught me to look at myself. If I was just barking at him, what was I trying to accomplish there? Being consistent with the message. Jack taught me a lot. Patience, this one's still very hard. Uh, yes, we used a lot of treats to get to this point. But if you care about something, you put the time and repetition into it and pay attention to details, which wasn't always my strong suit or, uh, either. Drank a lot of Budweiser's to get that done too. Uh, the return, unconditional love. Uh, this is when I broke my femur and he was by my side in 1998. But coming home and seeing those eyes and that wagging tail made every day worthwhile. Hopefully some of you know what that's like. You get the other side, which is heartache. And this is actually a snapshot of a poster that I was bawling my eyes out of Kinko's on Southport whenever I lost him for 12 hours. And I worked, walked all around the north side posting this everywhere. And it really taught me what matters most to you as an individual. And finally, when I lost him in 2009, it really taught perspective. And within agencies, I didn't have a reason to get home to feed him. So I worked more and more. And I really found myself being lost and not always focusing on the right things. Back to Pinterest. Uh, I, as I looked at this, I found myself looking after other folks' dogs. And a lot of people got dogs because Jack was that great. So I looked after Homer and Gunther and Huckleberry. And why is this? Because I think dog people get it. Uh, they give you that structure, but they also remind you to be selfless. And when you're picking up shit a couple times a day, you're going to be humbled. <laughs> Fair enough? I think so. A lot of people would say, I need to pick up more shit. So I've started this process. And there's so many great organizations. I have a friend here that is with Team Paws. I, they're a great organization. But over in the West Loop, Off Leash Canine Club, there's so many of them. So it's almost overwhelming. So I'm asking you in this audience to join this marketing evolutionist in the quest for my next best friend. Uh, I could use, certainly, all the help I can get. So if you can, my goal is to share with you dogs, organizations that I'm looking at, and actually get your feedback. This is bigger than me, and I think now in our evolved world, 
I could certainly tap into all the help I can get. So thank you very much. Look for me, culturecontent.com. <laughs>